Hey guys and welcome to the next N3 Game Genku Grammar video. In this video we're going to be covering Naito, Naka Naka, Nanka, and Nai Koto wa Nai. So without further ado, let's get into it. Naito. Naito is a relatively straightforward piece of grammar where it's a combination of both a verb in the nai form, the negative form, followed by to. And this is used to express that you must do something. Literally, if you don't do something, then dun dun dun, something will occur. And we can see this when we look at the literal breakdown of the grammar construction. Nai means you don't do. And this to is the same N4 piece of grammar, the to particle, when A happens, B also happens. So in this situation, when you don't do something, something happens. This is implying that something negative is going to happen. There's some sort of consequence to the action. That's why you have to do it. And that's where we get this connection of naito, meaning that you need to do it. So for example, here in Final Fantasy 13, if you don't say what you need to say, you'll suffer for a long time. So here, iwa naito, if you don't say, then the following thing is expressing this negative outcome, the thing that will happen if you don't say it. You could also translate this sentence as simply just, you need to say what you want to say because you'll suffer for a long time. That's another way of translating this sentence. Or just simply, if you don't say what you need to say, then you will suffer for a long time. So like seen here in Nier Automata, if you don't make sure they're dead, then it will be dangerous. So you could translate this sentence also as, you've got to check that they're dead, otherwise it'll be dangerous. If you don't do it quickly, the soldiers will return. So the same thing you could see here as, you've got to do it quickly, the soldiers will return. Or like here in Street Fighter 4, we have to stop him. Here, the result isn't actually expressed. So we can see that it's this action that you must do. If we don't stop him this time, dot dot dot, something bad may happen. That's why we must stop him. And finally, again here in Nino Kuni, if you don't hurry up, you'll be late for school. So here, hayaku shinaito. If you don't hurry up, if you don't do it quickly, then the negative result here will be that you'll be late. So as you can see, naito is an incredibly easy piece of grammar to use. Simply put the verb in the nai form, follow it with a to particle, and this expresses that you've got to do that action. If you don't do the action, something bad will happen. That's why you have to do it. Oh, demo Nakanaka has two different ways of using it. The first use is when you use it before a noun or an adjective. And this expresses a kind of surprise at something. That something is more than you expected. That something exceeds your expectations. So like here, she's kind of cute. Nakanaka kawaii. So we can see that the expectation level that he had shows that he was expecting a little bit worse, but actually she's kind of cute. It has this feeling of surprise behind it. And that's why Aerith actually gets a little bit offended when she says, Naka naka? Naka naka? Because it's showing this level of expectation that it's above what he was expecting. So she's kind of cute. And like here, you're quite the film buff. Ho? Or like in Jojo, that's quite an interesting proposal. So we can see that naka naka is put before the noun or the adjective to say that it's considerably something. It's fairly something. It's quite something. The second use of naka naka is when you use it before a verb, particularly a negative verb. <laughs> And this implies that the speaker has attempted to do something but is unable to do it. 
it's not a very easy thing to do. So like for example here in Nier Automata, it doesn't seem to be going very well. Naka naka umaku wa ikanai. This naka naka is expressing that he's attempting to do an action, but it's not easily or not readily happening. He's not able to do it. So perhaps he tried for it to go well, but it doesn't seem to be working out. That's what this naka naka here is expressing. It means that you're unable to do something simply or easy. <laughs> And like here seen in Near Replicant, any trace of the Shadow Lord himself is not so easy to find. So here, naka naka in front of tsukamu, to find or to grasp at something. So it's not so easy to do the action of grasping to get the traces of the Shadow Lord. Here they're trying to search for him and they just can't seem to find any trace. So if we put it all together, naka naka can be used both in front of nouns or adjectives simply to express that something exceeds your expectations. Cuter than you thought. Naka naka kawaii. Or use it before a verb in the negative form to express that it's not so easy to do that action. Nanka, nante, and nado. These three pieces of language are quite similar to each other in that they can be used to give an example of something, to show modesty towards something, to make light of something, and even to express surprise. The main difference is that nado is a little bit more formal and nanka and nante is used in spoken language. This can be used both to give an example, like for example maybe you're buying a birthday present and you could say Game nanka in janai isn't something like a video game good. So you're giving an example of presents to buy. Game nanka. You can also use these three to express making light of something. When you use them towards yourself, making light of yourself, it appears humble or modest. However, when you use it with someone else, not yourself, it now appears like you're talking down on them. Like you have contempt for them, because you're making light of them. It's okay to make light of yourself, that's modest, but if you make light of someone else, now it's rude. Well, this is also how nado, nanka, and nande can be used. And finally, the third use is that it can express surprise. Especially with nado and nante, you can use this after a verb to express surprise. Here only nado and nante can be used to express surprise at something. This use is very similar to towa, to think that. However, be careful, you can't use nanka here when you're expressing surprise. Now that may sound complicated, but all you're really doing with these three pieces of language is you're expressing the likes of something. This translation is a very easy translation to use in both of these three examples. Whether you're listing something, being modest, or making light of something. The likes of is a very useful translation. So like for example here with Fujita killing Nappa, here he says there is no need for the likes of a Saiyan that can't move his body. So things like a Saiyan that can't move. Here, he's definitely showing contempt towards Nappa. He's making light of him. He's putting him down. In this situation, Gohan is now putting himself down. He's being modest. Boku nanka. So someone like me, zenzen tatakae nai. I can't fight at all. So here, he's making light of himself. Here, Fujita's getting very angry because he doesn't care about Majin Buu, so he says, Majin Buu no koto nanka, the likes of Majin Buu, do demo i. I don't care. Ima no sessa wa, jibun no me ni utsuru hitobito o mamoreru. Here in Ruroni Kenshin, Kenshin says, Strength, such as the likes to kill people, I no longer have a need for. 
So here, the strength of killing people as a manslayer, Nado, things like that, I don't need. In Detroit Become Human, you've never once done such a thing as love someone. So, hito no koto, aishita koto nante nai. You've never done such a thing as loving someone else. Again, here with such a thing as, such a thing like. And finally, here being told to put on a coat because the likes of snow won't bother you. It'll be easy, no problem. Here with Yuki Nanka, so the likes of snow. So while there are a couple of rules that you need to be careful of, and the particular difference of the three may take time for you to get used to, just know that Nanka, Nante, and Nado can often be translated as the likes of dun dun dun, the likes of a Saiyan that can't move, the likes of someone like me, the likes of Majin Buu. Strength such as the likes to kill people, I don't need. You've never done the likes of loving a person. You've never done such a thing as loving another person. And the likes of snow won't bother you. Nai koto wa nai. Often seen translated as you can do something or it is not impossible to do something. Now, these two definitions I personally find a little bit difficult. It's actually much more easier to look at this piece of grammar as the literal way that it's being said. Nai to not be. Koto, the thing of that. Nai koto, the thing of not being that way. Wa, as for that thing, nai. It's not that case. As in, it's not that it's not. When you start to look at it like this, it becomes a lot more clearer and easier to look at. It's not that there aren't any ships, but they're restricted. Nai koto wa nai ga. It's not that there isn't any. So this could be you can get a ship, but they're restricted. Or it's not impossible to get a ship, but they're restricted. But I personally see it much more easier just to look at it's not that there aren't any ships, but they are restricted. This is a much more easier way of looking with this literal translation. And that's it really, it's pretty straightforward. Follow a verb in the nai form with koto wa nai to express it's not that it's not that way, as in it's possible. <laughs> so like here in AI Somnium, he's saying it's not that it's not related, right? This is because it's referring to the fact that she just said there's no relation, kanke nai. And he's like, kanke nai koto wa nai daro. Surely it's not that there isn't any relation. So it's putting emphasis on the fact that it's not not. You could just say, kanke aru, there is. But he's not making that bold statement. He's just using a double negative to turn it into a positive. <laughs> And again, like here in Boku no Natsuyasumi, it's not that you can't walk there. However, so here he's expressing a little bit of hesitation. He could just say that you can walk there. But that's a very positive statement, you can walk there. Instead, he's saying it's not that you can't walk there. So perhaps he's showing some hesitation, perhaps because it's very far away, perhaps because it's a difficult road to walk down, perhaps because it's just Mendoxai, he doesn't want to do it. So it's not that you can't walk there, however. <laughs> and finally, like here in Catherine, it's not impossible, right? So here he's saying that the girl has a crush on him and the other guy quickly says, no way. So nai koto wa nai means that it isn't that it's not possible. A double negative expressing it's possible, right? It's not impossible. So a pretty straightforward piece of grammar. You put a verb in the nai form and then follow it with koto wa nai to express that it's possible to do that action. But here just remember that it's emphasizing that it's not that it's not. So as you can see the real use of this piece of grammar is to avoid making any sort of definitive statement like it is possible or you can walk there. 
It's kind of avoiding that, and it's just expressing that there may be a possibility. You can't definitely say that it's impossible. There is a possibility, nai koto wa nai. It's not impossible to get a ship, but they're restricted. It's not impossible that they're not related, right? It's not impossible to walk there, however. It's not impossible that she's in love with me, right? And there we have it, the next four pieces of JOPT N3 grammar. Naito, you must do something. Or, if you don't do something, something will happen. Naka naka to express that something is considerably a certain way, or that it's not easily done. Nanka, nante, and nado to give examples, show modesty, or to make light of something. The likes of dun dun dun. And nai koto wa nai to express that something isn't impossible. It's not that it's not. As in, it may be possible. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to all of the supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, for your support of the channel. There is a lot coming in 2023. I'm now going to be working as hard as I can. I'm going to be trying to get this complete JLPT N3 finished in the next couple of months. So expect an absolute explosion of content coming out with these videos. My aim is to get them done before the school semester starts. I'll be trying to get the N3 and the Genki series finished as soon as possible, so expect a ton of that. So if you like this kind of content, consider coming joining us on Patreon. Come say hi on the Game Gengo Discord. It's a great place to hang out, make some friends, learn Japanese, just chill out, enjoy video games. So it's a wonderful community. So thank you so much, everyone who supported the channel. And as always, I'll see you all again in the next video. See ya.